Hello Python programmers. So in this video, we'll discuss how to access the data from touch sensor using Python. Now, just for you to know, this is an Arduino component and Arduino has its own ecosystem, its own language, its own IDE and the language is pretty similar to C. Okay. And the aim of this video is to use this Arduino sensor with Python because once I get access to it through Python, then the ball is in my court. So let's not waste time and quickly start our project. So we don't need any external package for this. We are accessing the serial data here and serial comes pre-installed. So first of all, what you have to do is you have to install the Arduino IDE. Now you only need this for the first time after you have successfully uploaded the code to your Arduino. You don't need that ID anymore. You can see and manipulate the data through your Python program only. Okay. So, uh, you can download the Arduino ID from this website. I'll provide the link in the description. This is the official website of Arduino. So yeah, after you have uh, installed the ID, you have to write this bit of code and uh, it's pretty simple. Let me explain you. You don't have to install any library here also. Uh, first is the void setup function. This is for setting up our Arduino. Now I'll show you the connection in just a bit. First of all, let's uh, understand the code. Okay. We are putting the pin of Arduino at eighth digital input pin. Okay. Just remember that because other than that, we have the VCC, which is the input power and ground. So that is pretty straightforward. You just have to remember the input pin, which is eighth digital pin here. Okay. Then we have to serial begin at 9600. Then this is the main function. Okay. This was the setup part. We are using the pin mode and the pin is 8 and this is an input device. Okay. This is an input sensor. I forgot to mention that. Then let's come to our void main loop or void loop. So if digital read 8, so we are reading from the digital 8 pin. And if that is high or if we have touched that sensor, if the output of the sensor is true, then serial dot print in hello sensor. Okay. We'll access the data in our Python program. We'll access this uh, string in our Python program. So don't worry about this. Okay. Then we are adding a 500 nanosecond delay. I guess this is nanosecond. So this was the part for Arduino. You have to upload this code let me connect uh, the arduino okay so the arduino is connected and the connection is done i'll show you the connection just a bit don't worry about that actually you know what let's see the connection first then we'll move on and uh, upload the code and write the python program okay let's see the connection first okay so the connection is pretty simple here these are the components that we'll be using first is the arduino uno okay this is the arduino uno and then we have the touch sensor. I'll provide the link to buy in the description. Okay, this is the touch sensor. Now let me show the connection real quick. Now this sensor has uh, three pins. Okay, let's focus it. Okay, it has three pins. Let me, okay. So, uh, First is ground, second is VCC which is the power input and the third is the SIG or the input pin. Okay, so these are the jumper wires. Now the ground is black, the VCC is brown and the last one is red, the input pin. Okay, so let's connect the black one to our ground. You have to ignore the background noise. This is my laptop fan, which is very loud. So this one goes to the ground of your Arduino Uno. Okay. It goes to the ground. Second is VCC or the power input. We have to connect it to uh, 5 volts. Okay. 5 volts is just the neighbor of your ground. Okay. It is the neighbor of ground. And uh, the last pin is your input pin, which has to be connected 
to the aid of the digital input okay yep the connection is done now connect this uh, usb cable to your laptop usb port and you are done with your connection okay so now the connection is done let's get to a python program and see that how we are accessing the data in a python program okay okay so this is our python program first of all we have to import the packages first is serial to get the serial input data then we have time so that we can add delay okay so first of all we are creating a serial instance now for some people they may encounter a error here which will be somewhat like uh, serial do not have any module as serial so for that what you have to do is you have to first of all pip uninstall serial if you have by mistakenly by mistakenly installed serial this is not the correct package what you have to install is pip install pi serial okay you have to pip install pi serial this is a package that we are using so if you are having any error like there is no module find as serial just pip install pi serial and if you are having error like the serial package has no module like serial then uninstall both the packages uninstall pi serial and uh, uninstall serial and then after that you install pi serial once again okay i was also having the same problem so i did this solution only so okay let's get back to our editor uh now we are creating the serial instance com3 okay so this is the port 3 let me open the id once again okay uh this is the usb port at which uh, your arduino is connected to know this uh click on this uh, tools and here you can see this is the uh port 3 or com3 okay write this port 3 here where is my id okay write this port 3 or com 3 here 9800 timeout is equal to true okay then we are adding a two second delay so for i in range 30 now i have time restricted it for 30 iterations only if you want it to be infinite you can create an infinite loop by simply writing a while true okay then we are reading the data so line is equal to serial this uh, instance of serial dot read line okay so we are reading whatever the data is provided here so the data read will be hello sensor okay then we are decoding that data with utf8 this is the encoding so if the line is equal to empty if the user hasn't touched the sensor then we'll write no touch if there is a touch then we'll write touch okay let me give you a quick demo but before that let's uh let's compile a code in our arduino ide make sure that uh, the connection is proper and tight and uh, the number is correct okay it will take some time to upload okay so the code is uploaded now now let's get back to our id so shift plus mouse right click this will show this uh, option click on open partial window here and uh, python 1.py i guess this is the name of the file yeah okay python 1.py okay so the program is running the program is running let me show you the output okay so let me run the program again actually i was very slow in opening the camera of my mobile okay just a second then okay so the program is running now it's showing no touch now let me touch the sensor it's showing touched make sure the touch is proper okay let me scroll it down okay no touch touch no touch no touch make sure that the touch is proper okay touch touch okay if you half touched it it won't pass the output okay let me run run that once again uh, let me scroll that okay let's touch it 
touch no touch no touch touch no touch no touch touch no touch no touch no touch touch okay so yeah uh okay so let me close this so yeah this was the demo of a project i hope you liked it and uh this video is part of a playlist where we are experimenting on different arduino components so far we have experimented on ultrasonic sensor servo motor and uh, esp32 wi-fi cam we have more and more sensor lined up so stay connected to this channel and the main aim of this uh, playlist is to finally create some awesome python projects okay now on the internet there are multiple uh, videos on arduino projects but arduino with python it's pretty rare so the aim of this playlist of this project series is to use arduino with python okay and then create something of a bigger project okay so yeah this was it and i'll meet you in my next one bye bye